Blah. <laughs> Christian Death is one of my favorite bands. I love that first Which album. Which version? Uh, Roz, obviously, Roz obviously the Roz Williams. Yeah. Although I've seen, look, I've seen Valor, but um, much like the Misfits, and we always go back, Graves are dancing, Graves are dancing, blah, 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 blah. blah. It's the same thing with Christian Death in a way. So what's funny is there are, and there's a bunch of bands like that. You mentioned TSOL. I, Mike, you're familiar with the history of TSOL, right? Uh, vaguely. I didn't know there was a big history, but I, I Oh, my God. Have, I have the first <sighs> record, so. All right. Yeah, well, that first record is, like, phenomenal. TSOL, for those of you who don't know, TSOL is secretly a death rock band, even though they don't know they're a death rock band or want to be a death rock band. But everything that they do is death rock, which makes it even more death rock because they're not trying to be death rock. They're like, they're like surfer bros from like, you know, they're surfer guys from uh, Huntington beach, but yet they're doing songs like silent scream and code blue and the triangle. You listen to the triangle and you're just like, this is straight up death rock. And they're like, no, we're hardcore guys. It's like, so I think that's so cool. Um, but um, but Christian Death is in the death rock community. Just the way that the the Misfits like started this whole genre thing, Christian Death is also cited as this band that kind of started death rock. Essentially, I, there some people would contest that, and it was started by a 16 year old kid named Roz Williams when he met up with the adolescents Rick Agnew. They put out this album called Only Theater of Pain, immaculate, amazing record that is just phenomenal, like the bomb. And then what happened was, long story short, without going into the whole history, another guy comes in, his name's Valor. They do two more albums as Christian Death. Then Roz leaves and Valor continues as Christian Death. without well, a he, he, he bought the name from Roz. He bought the name or Roz gave him the name or right. he trademarked the name. One of the crazy- Definitely trademarked it. Definitely, to definitely trademarked it. And he continued on. And, you know, again, nothing against Valor's music and nothing against. I saw them. I saw that. That I got, Valor. I got news for you. I almost killed the entire band of Christian Death once. Shut up. All right. Tell that story right now. In, Go. In my Go. van. <laughs> Wait, they were riding. Wait, this was Valor was riding with you or something? Valor. Uh, what? His, <laughs> Valor, his girlfriend, Dimitri, uh, yeah. the drummer whose name escapes me, and the guitar player. Mm -hmm. They were all. Uh, in my van. I, all right, let me let me set the, the the stage for you. Go here. ahead, go ahead, do it. I was working at a place in uh, Hawthorne, New Jersey, called Pleasurable Piercings. I was the publicist. Ah, and I was asked to do in store signings by band. So the first band that I got an opportunity to check in to have uh, have do a, an in store signing was Christian Death, Switchblade Symphony. And a band called Big Electric Cat. Hmm. They they were on tour. Uh, oh my God! What year was that? Nineteen ninety five, maybe possibly okay. ninety six. So um, so this is after this Sexy Death God has come out, which is their that's Valor's big release after. Right. So, yeah. but but at that point they had, with all due respect to Valor and, and Christian, that they kind of lost some of the momentum. Yeah. Anywho, so they yeah. were on tour. So they're on tour. So they 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 come to they're they're doing a show down which which is known at a club that's known as QXTs now. Mm -hmm. Back then it was known as Don Quixote's. Um, so I knew the promoter. I asked him, Hey, you know, can I get the band up here? He's like, Yeah, sure, sure. We worked it out. So I drive down to Newark to get them. Now, my van, which was the band van, had right. no had no back seats, it was all open. Okay, yeah. <laughs> So we're driving, we're about literally like two minutes from the location where I'm about to drop off everybody. So they're all in the back. I got like, I must have like 15 people in my van. Yeah. And I, in, in the passenger side is a girl, this girl, Michelle, who used to be a publicist for me, now married to my, my guitar player, Jeff. So she's in the passenger side and I'm dry. Here I am driving the van and in front of me, I'm, I'm going over a slight hill and there's a light. So as I'm going over the hill, I turn back to say something to the band. And when I turn forward again, I see brake lights. So I hit the brakes and everybody in the van went boom, 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 boom. <laughs> they Jesus. all fell forward. And all I hear was, oh, 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 oh. So, yeah, I, I, almost, I almost killed Christian death 
right through the windshield. <laughs> Symphony and, and Big Electric Cat. I almost killed all three bands. <laughs> um, yeah, I got a lot of flack for that. I told him you guys probably hate me now. I'm really sorry, but better that we didn't crash. You know. You know what? I met when I met Valor one time when I went to see them. I he was super. He was super nice guy. Like can't yeah. say a bad like bad him. word about him. Despite you know Valor kind of takes on like a Jerry only sort of uh, uh, you know energy in certain circles, and Roz Williams is like the originator and blah blah blah. Roz Williams tragically passed away leaving Valor to be the sole because Roz Williams started doing Christian death albums as well under that. That's how you get, um, Oh, what he, he did it for Cleopatra. There was, uh, Valor, uh, Valor's band was the original Christian death. When, when Roz came back, he was doing Christian death. I think as just Christian death. I don't remember exactly. Well, I was, I right. was actually a, a Valor fan. I, I actually liked Valor's. Stuff. I listen, I atrocities is a good album. I like mm -hmm. atrocities. Um, there's a couple of good albums that he that Valor has done. However, for me, I'll, it'll always be catastrophe ballet. So many, and so many over, people say that. Pain. So oh, many people are are so oh. dedicated to Roz, and I can appreciate that. I mean, he did start it out, but for me, I, I happen to like the way Valor's voice is better now. And I, I can. Probably, are you a fan of cat catastrophe ballet at all? Yeah, I like them all, but I, I was just and, and and people are gonna hate me for saying this, but I was really never a fan of Roz Williams' the way he sang. Interesting. It was, it, well, it was a little bit too because he's like, whiny, like whiny <laughs> and moany. And, and I was like, oh. so when Valor sings, I kind of dig it. He's got a really deep voice. And he's he got really, a deep voice. He projects, you know, and I he's really got like a uh, Bauhaus. What's that guy from Bauhaus? Peter more Murphy. like a little bit, a little bit more in that lower. So yeah, he's, hung he's Hungarian. That's why he gets all that energy. <laughs> Glory is noise. TV says I was in a band with Valor's son, Sev Sevan or seven Sevan. 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 Uh, he, I can't, I can't say her name. I'm just going to butcher it. What's, what's her name? The, the girl. Jitan. Jitan. Thank you. You didn't butcher it. He Jitan and Jitan. And Sevan. <laughs> okay. Uh, he and Jitan are two of the nicest people you'll ever meet. Great memories of that whole Christian death family. They're still out there, man. They're still Christian death. They're still grinding it out. You know, um, I, I just want to touch back. We were talking about speaking of L.A. Death Rock. I want to touch back on TSOL because I want to tell you how crazy this is. <clears throat> we talked about everybody knows the story of the misfits and all that stuff. Everybody knows or we just spoke about Christian death and the branching off of these two bands. How about this? TSOL, right? Original lineup. One by one. <clears throat> the original lineup dissolves first the lead singer and the drummer leave that, you know, like slowly they, they, that leaving just the nucleus of the guitarist and the bassist, kind of like with uh, Jerry and Doyle. So they get a new drummer and they get a new singer. Then the, the, the guitarist leaves just leaving the bass player as the sole original member of TSOL. They start playing their, their sound changes to like, you know, hair metal, eighties hair metal. They I start, remember. Yeah, they get really friendly with uh, Guns N' Roses and, and they're doing the whole, you know, strip scene or whatever, the L.A. strip scene. And then what happens is Mike, the bass player, the last founding original member of the band, he leaves the band. And it's just four guys who weren't even. <laughs> that's like that's like GBH, like GBH. The same thing happened. And really? All the, all the original members left GBH, but it's now. Uh, it, and they're still going. I, I, at least I think they're still. That going. That is so bizarre. I think the Vandals are like that too. But when that happens, that blows my mind. When that stuff happens, I find it like fascinating because I'm like, mm -hmm. how can you continue as an entity that you didn't create in any way, shape, or form? Like, you know, it's one thing if someone was there at the beginning, but like, it just I don't know. The whole thing kind of blows my mind. Uh, and that's what happened with TSOL. Kind of weird, kind of crazy. Well, let's go to some of these comments real quick. Um, same with Napalm Death. No, okay, so there's no original members in uh Napalm Death.